Hey, good morning, guys. It is Monday, uh, December 21st, uh, and I do not have actual work today. I am on vacation for the next two weeks, which is awesome, uh, but the side hustle never stops. Uh, so I've got seven things I need to get packed up and shipped out today, and um, I went back <laughs> to the chess club. The sale was so nice, I had to go back again. So I got a bunch more stuff, uh, but I'll show you some of that here in a minute as well. But let's see what's sold. All right, so first here we've got these uh, Febreze vacuum bags. Um, this was just a random random little find at the end of the day. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for it, uh, and those did sell for 10. Uh, over here, I've had these for, I feel like, a year. Um, so this is a full, full NFL set uh, of these little helmets here. So I paid $3 for this, uh, and it finally sold for 36 And this team right here, right there, yep. They're now 10 and four, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, so we've got the uh, America uh, vinyl here um, for just a little while back. This sold for $8. All right, so this here is a light meter, a Sakonic light meter. Um, it's really cool looking. Uh, I didn't really know what it was initially uh, until I looked it up. This did sell for $50. This is a 55 millimeter um, Takumar lens here. This one sold for 40. Uh, I think I talked about this here, the Elna Core. I thought this one was really cool. Um, this one sold for 55. And then this is the one that sold for the most so far. This is the Micro Nikkor uh, 55 millimeter um, 2.8. Uh, this one sold for $102.50. So pretty nice sales coming out of these, uh, coming out of this photo stuff um, already. So, uh, so a lot more, a lot more to go with that. But uh, definitely happy with, happy with the start. All right, so everything is packed up and uh, on the porch ready to be picked up. Uh, so let's look at this, uh, look at this next haul here. Um, so I, after I got back, started going through the stuff on Saturday. Um, I reached out. I just sent, I sent an email back to the to the Craigslist uh, ad. Um, asking if they were going to be there again on Sunday. Um, they said that they had not planned to, but they would be there um, at around 2 o'clock for, for a little bit of time. So um, I was happy to take them up on that and uh, drove up there um, and loaded up my car yet again, just with tons and tons of really cool stuff. Um, so here we've got, uh, these are DVD ROMs, um, so lots of, basically chess databases um so a ton of ton of things on here uh these fritz fritz trainers um these are these are pretty good um if you can find a really big set i've seen one like a real full set i think selling for like 300 bucks which is crazy i think these individually sell for about nine nine to ten bucks a piece um, so i will probably go ahead and just put all three of these together since they're all dvd roms uh, these I haven't been able to find any anything on yet, um, but I thought that was just funny. Uh, so this is the Foxy Openings. It is a uh, VHS, obviously. So I haven't seen anything yet on that, but but we'll see. Um, I bought five sets of uh, these tournament chess um, chess sets. Uh, these were two bucks a piece. Um, I bought one for for Nolan. I figured a little bit easier teaching him with the actual looking chess pieces versus the the specialty looking ones. So we've got one of these upstairs that we're hanging on to. Um, uh, Lonnie Garage Flips. I'm going to be giving him one of these, and the other three I will probably sell. Um, these aren't these don't sell for a ton, but maybe around 15 or so, which is obviously not bad. Uh, bought this chess clock that I think we're going to sell. Pay 10 for this one. Um, I think I just saw a comp on this one for 31. Um, I'm going to keep this one. I've always wanted one. Um, so, gonna hang on to that one. Uh, bought this set, uh, which I thought was really cool. I think we're probably gonna keep this as well, uh, at least for now. Uh, I paid ten for this one. I just hadn't seen you know this these types of figures before. It is a plastic set, so it's probably not super super valuable anyway. But gonna hang on to that one. And then I just bought a just a ton a ton more books. Um, so I got all these chess correspondence yearbooks. Um, I'll probably put those together in a lot. 
Uh, these here I haven't actually gone through yet. I need to go through and look these up and see which ones I will do individually and which ones will go into a lot. My guess is, um, so I've, I've gone through quite a few. I've got a couple other boxes full of books that I've gone through already. Uh, the Everyman Chess, I will probably put those together, um, just an Everyman Chess lot. Um, then yeah, just got to look up a couple more of these things here. So you got the Ruben Fine, Ideas Behind the Chess Openings. Um, super, super cool. Uh, so over here, um, just again, more and more books. Uh, I've gone through all of these, uh, these here. Um, actually, I think these are in German. Yeah, these are German. Uh, das, das Moderne, maybe? I don't know. Um, but So we've got four of these. Those will go into a lot. Um, these books here, uh, all of these books here will be individual. Uh, these books here, are so, so far, this is going to be a lot on this side. And this is the start of an Everyman chess lot here. Um, they actually ended up giving me... Um, a good amount of these magazines. I think I only, I think this is the only box I paid for. Uh, I think they charged me five dollars for this box, um, and then these other two boxes uh, they just gave them to me. Um, so that was that was pretty nice, uh, pretty nice as well. So I ended up spending, I ended up spending another another hundred dollars basically. Uh, that's what I spent up there. Uh, obviously, you know we've got about twenty. $25 or so is, is keep, um, so another 75 for, for resale. And also they had, also they had this, which I thought was a monitor initially. Um, I didn't see it, but I thought this was a monitor. I didn't see it the first day. Uh, I really wasn't looking at anything that was not chess related. Um, but this is a Dell XPS uh, all in one. Um, so I paid 10 bucks for it. Uh, it powers on, it, it boots up, it gets to the admin screen, but I don't know how to get past that because I don't have, um, I don't have the admin password. Um, I guess I could go through some hoops and try to make a, try to make a recovery CD, but without the admin password, I don't even think that's possible. So I'm really not, really not sure what to do with this other than selling it as is. Um, so I paid 10 bucks for it. I think as is, I could, it should still do pretty well. Um, but if anyone has any other ideas of what to do to get past that Windows prompt login to see if this machine is really working and figure out what the, the RAM and stuff is, that, that'd be great. All right, guys, I think that is it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. As you can see, I've got a lot of work still to do. <laughs> um, so it's a good thing I'm on vacation. Till next time, stay curious.